Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Sorry, I was late. Sorry, I held everything up. Oh, it's all good. We got here five, five minutes ago. John's been here an hour and a half or something. Yep. Yeah, I told him the wrong time. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I, if, I'm, if I'm on time, I'm late. That's just... Yeah. <laughs> what they teach you in the MI6. Mm-hmm. Is that what they <laughs> teach? It's like day one intelligence is yeah. If you, if you're, he's if teaching you're, intelligence. We are at the rolling. College. Really? No, tomorrow I'm teaching a lifetime of learning in cybersecurity <laughs> at UT. That's exciting. You want? Do you need headphones? I, Your call. It's up I'm to easy. you. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you want to hear what Grant's saying, you talk. Oh, in that case, shit. well, in that case, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you would have to. But your hair also looks really good right now, That's so I don't know thing. if you want to mess that up. Good looking hair. It, when, when once you get to forty six, good looking hair is is everything. It's, uh... Why would you be saying that to me right now? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's what am I gonna look if I make it to forty six? What would I even look like? I don't even because it would have to continue to fall out. It's not. Just totally bald and maybe it'll grow back. Yeah, maybe it'll just get over the hump. I think you need and it'll grow back. And it just grow oh maybe yes. <laughs> my fingers are crossed at maybe forty or something, it'll start growing back. I think maybe now the time's to go for a uh, Rogaine. Um But what if it gets on your hands? I always thought <laughs> I'm not using Rogaine because my hands are gonna get hairy. It, only if you take part in certain activities. Well, like use it to masturbate? <laughs> I believe that's one of them. I used to do that with conditioner, and I remember it used to sting my penis hole. And I was like, I can't keep doing this. This is like all that was in the bathroom. I ever heard the chefs last night in the casi in, in casino. What's the burger place? Casino El Camino. El Camino. Talking about masturbating while overdosing on Benadryl and what that felt like. Yeah, I have. Questions. I know those guys. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> those cooks? <laughs> they yeah. talk about that some? I hang out with those cooks. <laughs> yeah, they sound like my best friends. That's, <laughs> that you know it. that story? It's a fruitful conversation. Yeah, what's isn't the idea you take a handful and then you see if you can like jerk off before... It's maybe. before you pass out and, <laughs> yeah. then the, and then the whole thing was... Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I know those cooks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then if it does kick in, you get like really scared. Benadryl makes you really scared of everything. This was the thing. Like I've participated in some particularly stupid things in this lifetime, but they described a guy dying of an overdose on Benadryl as being one of the worst things that can happen. Yeah. It like dries your body out like a husk. And they find you wherever you lay as like the girl who got flattened out by the weed from the weed commercial. Are you serious? It dries you out? So do you yeah. look a kind of way? <laughs> yeah, you literally <laughs> yeah. look like the girl in the weed commercial yeah, like, on Benadryl in that. Yeah. Takes all the liquid out of your body. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? In some heard. ways. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Really yeah. dry. And you can't keep up with the amount of water you would need to kind of counteract it. So you're slowly shrinking. And you're probably not even drinking that water unit, even if you want well, to. Well, you're knocked out. There's no way. You're you can't out. wake up. You your can't drink water. Your body starts drinking itself. <laughs> <laughs> and then you die on the. Ca yeah. Yikes. <laughs> and you die flat like a pancake. God. Brutal. And Casey, hold on. <laughs> Love the shirt. Look at that tie-dye. That's an impressive so one. Good. How did they do the Stop grimace? The lace Whoa! Hey. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was doing like You're a fatal attraction I know. Thing t tattooed on those things. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great. Charlie it's Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have British John today. Have y'all ever officially met? Yeah, I know British John. We've 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 met around town over the years. We've met around town. Cool. And you're you have a speaking engagement tomorrow. I do. I do. My, in my real life world, yeah. It's kind of 
What are your jokes you tell in between your serious stuff? Uh, I'm going to talk about. Um, can't talk about that one. This one the things like yonder bags <laughs> of my talk friend. About what one? I can't. Tell, I can't say. Unfortunately, it's, it's it's intelligence related. So, yeah. Yeah. Were you really? A, are you really a spy? I'm a former professional hacker for Her Majesty's government. Or His Majesty's Her government. Majesty it's all changed in 48 hours. It did that change. That wasn't a good one. I know, yeah. I know. It is. It is. Um, yeah, now I'm giving a speech on a, a lifetime of learning in cybersecurity. He's a hacktivist. Mm -hmm. Are you a hacktivist? I was a professional hacker for many years. So could you get on, like, my phone if you wanted to? Yes. <laughs> and what would it look like? You could just swipe through it, or you would literally see what I'm looking at I've, when I've, my phone's I've, on. I've already gone through your browser history. I have some questions. Even if it even on the private, even all the can, eBay stuff. Yeah, oh, see on my eBay my shit. Lord, you, dude, I, <laughs> Back on my eBay bullshit. It's. A, <laughs> I really am kind of. You know what? You give it one addiction, you take on another one. It's exactly. I'm, I'm the same. Poshmark and 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 Rothe shoes. Seriously, that's I'm, your current addiction. This is my addiction. My wife got a really nice pair, and I refuse to pay full price. But someone out there, <laughs> love it. Yeah, like, Poshmark. They're in my size. They're coming to the house at this point. It's, it's are those British brands? Poshmark no, I don't know. They're, they're, Poshmark they're, is like an eBay for clothes. Oh, it is. It's like it's like Whoa. fancy, it, but it's like brand specific. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. It's... Wait, how are the how are your driving moccasins? Is that what those are called? They're, they're my driving shoes. There I, he is. I love them. Oh my gosh! Sorry, I'm just uh -oh. gonna move this a little bit that way. There's I think the... now you've done it. There he is. Oh, this this reminds me of an old boy school. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I can take it. <laughs> Wait, so you could get on our phones. And again, if you did, would you, could you see what my screen is looking at? Or you could just go through my phone. It's not that interesting. I don't need to, unless it's something in real time, it's not that interesting. I'm more interested in what you've done as opposed to what you're doing. But they have that technology. That technology exists. Yeah. Cool. I'm very specific in my language. I know it's because I, you know, I got to pay bills. Um, <laughs> what but, would it, Oh, what case? Are you I don't know. You get, you ask. My question's too personal. I couldn't even ask, ask. him. Oh my gosh! Like what situations I can't answer? Yeah. <laughs> what is so what's life like for you at home? Um, no. Um, <laughs> but we don't have the internet. I don't even see what people are doing on it. But. Um, last night I had something really remarkable happen that kind of shattered my probably my entire life. Do you? Wow, we're doing this podcast the day after you lose your virginity. <laughs> so I had full on sex. Um, <laughs> um, I found a Game Boy in a drawer in my house. Turn it on. Pokemon Sapphire. I go, I got a couple hours. So I ended up playing Pokemon Sapphire yesterday for about 14 hours. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Till about five in the morning. I find the old charger. I plug the charger in. Game Boy's about to die. Something goes wrong with the charger port. It mm. breaks. So I go, okay, this Game Boy's about to die. Keep in mind, I'm about five badges in. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good for a Pokemon. Yeah, it's, only, yeah, it's only an eight badge game. So I've completed the majority of this game. I got my full team together. I got a grass. I got an electric. I got a fire. I just evolved the fire Pokemon. Ooh. Which one? It was Camus. He turned into a big camera up. He looked like a damn <laughs> What's donkey with a volcano. What did the Camus look like? <clears throat> Camus is this tasty little thing. He's this cute little humped being. And when you evolve him, he turns into kind of this beastly gross thing. He's like has big humps that are volcanoes. And he looks yeah. like a camel. But that's besides the point. Yeah. <laughs> so 5 a.m. comes around. Quitting time. And I go to click save. I'm about to go to bed. Camera up just of all. This is what I've been working on all day, trying to evolve this Pokemon. It goes saving. Do not turn off power. Goes on the fritz. Game Boy turns off. It died while I was saving it. Mm -mm. I turn the Game Boy back on. It goes, the saved file, dot, 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 has been deleted. It deleted everything I'd done. What? Is there a way for you to hack to get that back? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hack my Game Boy SP? I think I. You know what? We're gonna. We'll, we'll take a look at it. I, this is gonna. This is. 
I know people. 14 hours of missing gameplay? Yeah. Yeah, that's I'd have lot. to start over completely. It might take 20 hours to recover it, but I don't think that's important. I think that's... That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I get that feeling. This is... Because the bond that I was able to form yesterday was something I'd never experienced with this group. Camel thing. This core group or, yeah. of guys. This tells you get everything you need to know about man. pet insurance. This is It's in the same scale. Like you know. So you're it's, saying don't get the health insurance. I'm saying... Pet. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that they're on the same... There's no Game Boy game insurance. But Wait, hold on. Insurance. So you can hack a Game Boy. So you it doesn't have to be just computers. You we can, can try hack anything. And, we can try and recover the the stuff from the memory part of the the car. Name your price. I'll give you anything. This core team, I, this core team I had together, one of the best teams <laughs> I've ever assembled. And how many were we talking again? Well, I had over ten Pokemon in my Pokédex, but my top six were pretty pretty delicious. You had Manectric. <laughs> what is he? What is Manectric? <laughs> Do you know Manectric? I, I, I need to. I need to call my daughter. I need to call my six year old right now to to to. to Does she uh, like Pokemon? Oh my! It's. It, Do you know the Barton Creek Mall has a wonderful Pokemon store? Yeah, Pokemon exclusive. Did you know that? Yeah, because his yeah. friend who was visiting has a kid who she loves Pokemon, and they went to that mall specifically for that store. This is this is this is. Calling what's going to happen this week? Does your daughter watch? What was the Pokemon YouTube page? No, because I banned that guy. I banned them all. She oh. can't get access to them. I'm horrible. You don't like watching them open their all their packs. That's They're all fake. She wants to be a veterinarian who creates her own real life Pokemon's. That was her intended. That's sweet. Career is I'm going to become a veterinarian so I can make real life Pokemon's. So, so would that be like cutting appendages and stuff off of certain animals <laughs> and sewing it onto the other animal? Or how that's, would you? That's my fear. That is yeah. that is my fear. Ask her what she thinks about pet insurance. <laughs> she's got she's got very strong opinions on everything. She's six years old, but she has the opinions of a thirty year old Irish woman that's known a hard life. I said, tell you, this is. <laughs> It's funny you said Irish. I spent a lot of time in Dublin over the years. Oh, I spent okay. a lot of time in Ireland, so, you know. Dublin. Oh, who are those scary things? Are those, those real life? Those Pokemon? are potential Pokemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get the voltage right. The, uh, <laughs> actually, the one on the right might be one of my exes. <laughs> oh. Uh, we've, all, we've all done a redhead at some point. <laughs> She's beautiful. What, in Ireland? You're between two redheads. <laughs> I know, I know, but and I'm enjoying every minute of it. That's, oh my uh, gosh! Was that over in Ireland when you were banging the Irish chick? Uh, it's, one doesn't bang an Irish chick. What does one do? One one romances. Ooh. depends on how much Guinness you've been drinking. And shepherd's pie. Uh, oh, who doesn't love a shepherd? It's one of my pronouns. Shepherd's pie. He Shep am shepherd. <laughs> shepherd's, shepherd's pie. Oh, cottage pie, shepherd's pie. Yeah. Body by pie, that should be, you know. And brie. Wait, so are you scared about your big speech you're giving at the college tomorrow? No, this is easy. I'm more worried about doing... He's doing 45 minutes, Casey. That's are a you? good amount of time. Maybe That's you should bring your Game Boy so everyone can watch it. Oh, yeah, you can do a I demonstration. Have to, I have... Yeah. Wait, so the answer is no, but I do have my hacking... I do actually have my hacking rig with me. I did actually bring it out here. Oh, what is your God. hacking rig? And I help. carry a good number of laptops around with me. Just in case. Uh, so I have my work work one, and then I have this. For stuff like this. MacBook Pro, which is just so you, for fuckery. You have your like your driving gloves, and then like your Google glasses, and then you can kind of swipe and see what's going on with the data frame. Oh, I just take my pants off and use a keyboard like a normal person. That's cool. Yeah. What do you keep it all in a suitcase? A laptop bag is. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It's just a regular laptop bag. It's remarkably boring. You've seen it. It's. It's usually the. Who put a computer bag in the green room? That's usually it. Yeah. yeah. You know. It's. Uh, it's normal shit. <laughs> we use the same. Bad guys and good guys use the same. Use the same weapons to protect and for offensive capabilities. So. Did you? Are you a bad guy or what are you? Uh Were you ever a bad guy? I was expelled from high school twice for hacking. Oh, and, no way. You were doing it at a young age? Yeah. Fun. And, um, and so I got tapped on the shoulder and they said, you have leadership qualities. You'll either be you'll be either leading a government department or you'll be leading a prison or you'll be leading a 
gang. What did you do in high school? Okay, I just went to school. Math. What's your favorite color like, in high school? No, to get in trouble. I, I was I was hacking the school computer systems. Oh, I see. Are you giving yourself better grades? Uh, <laughs> it's a classic move. <laughs> it's yeah. really it's really geeky, but I I did a thing where it appeared on all the counties. There was a an image, a particular image of a a gentleman having relate carnal relations with a chicken. <laughs> this was a four frame animation. 120 deep hours, tiny thing. You're man, this is more than, this is 30 years ago. Christ, I'm old. And um, uh, yeah, there was no evidence of it happening. Two and a half thousand people saw it happen on their computers, but there was no evidence of it actually having happened forensically. And so that was, they, they knew it was me because of the lack of evidence. And so they said, uh, other educational opportunities are available. <laughs> Because there was no paper trail, and they were like, "That has to be British John." Uh, I was, yeah. I was raised. If you, <laughs> yeah. if you're gonna do something stupid, plan it. Mm -hmm. And um, I've lived by that creed. And you were putting the sweet person having sex with a chick, and that's kind of fun on everybody's computer screen. Yeah, if you've, anybody remembers CompuServe, you could download some really. The thing is, what was really weird shit back then versus a <laughs> perfect picture. Um, <laughs> That wasn't the way he was carnally relating to it. Um, <laughs> what was he doing? Having <laughs> sex with a chicken. Oh. <laughs> it was a tiny little animation that you couldn't even... It was literally a thrusting action with a chicken in front. But, you know... That's funny. Young minds will finish the... the, the finish the job. That's what we always say. Young minds finish the job. Yeah. <laughs> who's that guy? Grant, what's going on? Did y'all get along today? Was Grant nice to you? He's he's lovely. He's delightful. So charming. Grant, who are you talking to back there? What's going on? You hear that? I'm lovely. Yeah, <laughs> tell him to be quiet. Is that the other room? Oh, yeah. You're probably just hearing a little bit of the conversation in the other room. Tell him to keep it down. Yeah, I mean, who is that? What was going on? It said tool time? Or what did it say? I saw the little tool graphic time. they had. <laughs> Home improvement? What did it? What does their graphic say? Tim Allen over there. No biggie. Tim is over there? Sounds like him. Tim Alice is over there? Tim knock Alice. on the wall, Casey. Knock on the That's wall. It. It's a, they're, they're talking data centers. Oh, data centers. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's my next podcast. Just walk, oh, you're going just over there? I'm joking. I'm joking. I should just walk it up. I'll, I'll put. I'll use my real name and, 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 and go to town on yeah. that one. Yeah. Pretend like they wait, booked you. what's your you. real name? I don't use my real name in, in, in the real world. So it's not Anymore. British John? It's not British the English John. English John? It's, it's yeah. Not. It's not. It's an interesting thing because I'm doing roast battle in London uh, at the end of June. Oh, do they do roast battles over there? They do. What do they call you? We're, we're working that one out right now because we do know that the first three jokes are going to be that this guy's the only British person in California. That's funny. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, no, it was a typo and it worked out for me. So, um, <clears throat> so your name's not John. My name is John. <laughs> okay, okay. Absolutely. As long as it's John. That bit is always been John. true. Yeah. But <laughs> people always got my, I've been called everything, but my, my surname, like Garfield and all sorts of things. And um, John Garfield? John, John Chicken. Is that your actual name? <laughs> no, it's not. But, oh. people, but whoever was, when, it, when someone was bringing me up, they would get my name. I was Juan Garcia. I was Jose Garfield. And so. <laughs> Did you ever do any hacking south of the border? Down, uh, well, down there, you know, you yeah. Know I mean, <laughs> little biohacking. I can I can tell you this story actually because it's now more than ten years. No, it's gone past the statute of limitations. This is this is thing. First I'm time. one of the few people you'll meet that was smuggled to Mexico. Smuggled to Mexico. Yeah. What were you doing? I overstayed my visa <laughs> after nine eleven. Oh my gosh! I was I was I was here during nine eleven and um and I couldn't. The company I work for had this. Stupid insurance policy. If Wait, I went, what were you doing here on 9 11? <laughs> oh, <laughs> seriously, what were you doing here on 9 11? Um, I was in I was in downtown New York, but that's beside the point. Figured as much. No, yeah, I, I figured mean, that might you, be true. <laughs> did you have your laptop bag with you? I, I had a laptop bag. Laptops were bigger back then. We didn't have little, you know, well, like Mac popular. Clubs you can shave with. No, there was pretty, no, big, I'm kidding. Yeah, shit. everybody had a laptop. Yeah, oh, what a fantastic. <laughs> This is getting flagged by 16 people at the NSA right now. Oh, my God. Perfect. There we go.
And Garfield so, was there too. Yeah, Garfield was there. <laughs> uh, Garfield was in the Silverstein building actually at uh, 755 Broadway. Um, he lives there? No, I was the building I was in. Uh, this the is, Silverstein building. The, I think the Silverstein building is the one by my, that one right there. I think that's the Silverstein the building. The silver one. Um, yeah, is he associated? Is it named <laughs> after the poet? He's named after a lawyer, actually. Oh, well. It's a boring, boring story. <laughs> no, I was there to do training with my, I had a, a product team that had flown over and we were doing a half day conference there. And then I was off to Atlanta and well, you know, something else happened that day. It was a bummer. I like when British people say, er, like instead of like Lisa, Atlanta, <laughs> instead of Lisa. a, like Atlanta, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, how do you say Lisa? Lisa. <laughs> you have to understand, as far as we view it, <laughs> my we, we created the language, so we've got the pronunciation <laughs> down right. I love it. Says, well, I think that's debatable. He's a. No, I'm he's kidding. a. I'm kidding. You have a beautiful lexicon. I like the way he you has a that. grammar I'm and a pronunciation. Um, he, he likes it to be proper. He gets really Who annoyed. Who are you talking about, Which Shell? About you. Oh, I thought you were talking about Shell since he's up there. You're an enunciation fascist? Mm-hmm. Wow. Not really. I know. There have been times. God, remember that time at the place I lived in L.A. and my buddy Philip was there? And it was bad. I got all fucked up. And then I was being kind of He's, mean. like, telling him how dumb I am because I pronounce <laughs> things wrong. But, like, things I pronounce wrong on purpose. And then I was like, do you even like me? You think I'm stupid? It doesn't make you look any good God, that you're dating a stupid girl. Up. Okay, I shouldn't have brought that up. I immediately regret it. I was like, it. is this how all your Memphis friends are? Yo, I don't know what happened. I get all fucked up and get extra mean. It was that one time. <laughs> John, it was just the one time. No, I, that's fine. I just thought you, you were making some great progress, really. The therapy was working. I thought you were both connecting much better. Just yeah, well, I want to apologize, okay? You already have. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You made a mistake. I was pronouncing them on purpose. I was adding S's to everything at the end. Making Wait, everything. what's an example? I forget. <laughs> I'd call you Williams. <laughs> oh, yeah, I couldn't stand that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And then you were saying like she doesn't know how to talk. <laughs> she she can't yeah, talk. I remember. Yeah, I was like, I'm doing it on purpose. What the fuck are you talking about? And here we are. When in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. <laughs> oh, anyway, let me let me finish the story. <laughs> I'll lose my thread completely. Nine eleven happened. I ended up staying in a hotel uh, for. <laughs> couple of weeks i couldn't fly home and i couldn't go anywhere and so i was like well and i was i was actually doing my first ever green card application that day um, oh, yeah that kind of that, that appointment got canceled well you were like the cvs getting a picture no i was that's the first step isn't it oh no i done all that stuff this was my actual oh. formal interview to get a green card and uh anyway i i stayed in the country i couldn't leave and i couldn't stay i it was just kind of screwed up and so I, uh, I called up a buddy of mine who lives in San Diego and said, do you have any uh, Coke, any Mexican Coke? He was always taught, you know, it's bad. I'd never tried cane sugar cola before. And, I thought you were talking about yeah. the drug. <laughs> no. I knew God, no. he was talking about. Do you have the, an eight ball? Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. what I thought. The Mexican kind. 9-11 just happened. <laughs> blow off some steam. I was kind of a part of it. I that was is... in the Silverstein building. You might have heard of it. It's right by Ground Zero. <laughs> Garfield lifts there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Garfield for scale is just absolutely perfect. It's, uh... What's his buddy's name? Odie? Yeah. Otis? Otis. Otis, Otis or Odie? Something. Otis. Otis. Milo and Otis. Did he have pet insurance? I think they should have for that movie. Didn't they kill a bunch of cats and dogs for that movie? Did you ever see Milo and Otis? Yeah, a bunch of dogs were killed. Lasagna overdose is a thing. It's a serious condition. What? Pets overdosing? Or, yeah, animals overdosing? Yeah. I think this is what was happening on set. Like, a lot of people think it was people, like, just treating the dogs wrong. I think they had drug problems. Like, the animal actors there had drug problems. I think Hollywood. Yeah, the silent killer. Yeah, it's like yeah, ten percent of dogs have like drug problems or something. Yeah, in Hollywood. I know ten. It, the silent killer. <laughs> Just wait for a Labrador on 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 a, on a, on, a, on um on narco or something. You know, 
Osembic. <laughs> that's the, you we know, love Osembic. Oh, 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 Osembic. No, that's O'Reilly, I think. <laughs> I always Ozempic think that. Ozembic auto parts. <laughs> <laughs> Which pharmacy are you going to? <laughs> All those stupid songs. Rebelsis. I'm always seeing Rebelsis now. That's on all the time. <laughs> Our favorite Randy Letke joke is like, what do I look like I'm on? Sky Rizzy or Stoltz? Stoltz. <laughs> or Stoltz. And he's like, mm, Stoltz or Sky Rizzy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like wanting the audience to choose what. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. It's so good. Sky Rizzy. <laughs> so I flew down to San Diego. We short version is we drove down to the the border there's a mall just before Tijuana Ooh. on the right hand side and uh, we ran the air conditioning on maximum and then I crawled into the trunk and we <laughs> drove through to Mexico oh my god and then I, I, I flew from Tijuana and again, to Mexico this is, City let me get the timeline correct this was More right than after 9-11 <laughs> then you're sneaking into Mexico yeah, yeah. Days yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely <laughs> absolutely I flew to I flew to Mexico City and I flew home to London and then I came back to the U.S. three days later. So I, I just I just couldn't overstay. Died down. Yeah, when the heat died down. down a little bit, it came <laughs> back to the Silver Yeah, those three <laughs> days. Those three days were crucial. Forty <laughs> fifth floor, Silverstein Building, <laughs> house. Garfield's up there. Garfield's waiting for you. The damn cigar. Yeah. Well, it's good you made it out all right. Whoa. <laughs> is that cocaine on that's his a cigar. chest? That's fantastic. That's yeah, that's um, perfect. Yeah, a little bit of cocaine. Thank you very Granny's much. Granny's doing a serious speech at the University of Texas tomorrow. <laughs> they might see this. They, you know what? They might. It, they, they need to learn right the kids now. Kids like it. Yeah. Don't give your yeah, cat cocaine. Perfect. <laughs> Look at that skyline. Yeah, Sky God, that looks like the guy Rizzy. <laughs> <laughs> that looks weirdly a lot like the skyline from up where I was living, where that bad fight happened. Oh my gosh, do you remember that? <laughs> like, <just> like that. <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> uh, well, so what is one of the jokes? Hold on, what's one of the jokes you're know. gonna say in the your forty five minute thing tomorrow? Oh, they're not they're not jokes like we do. They're they're they're, they're just one liners that I I just keep their we attention. We love tech at. jokes. Like you put your glasses on. Like what's wrong with my glasses? Whose glasses are these? <laughs> that would be fun. These Maybe try right. that. Yeah, it's a little dry, but um, <laughs> take them out of your front pocket and put it. On. Google incognito <laughs> means that Google's not watching your browser history. But I was watching from the back of the class. I have questions. Ooh. Yeah. I just wait. Just hold on. Say that again. It's a hacker joke. It's a hacker joke. I just say so. Google incognito mode. Mm -hmm. That means Google's not watching you. But I was stood at the back of the class watching for the last twenty minutes. I have questions. Ooh. Nice. And then depending on where the room is, I'll go into stupid shit. How do people respond when you say that? They're just staring at usually you. Or usually, like, oh no. Usually, <laughs> a mixture of panic <laughs> and. It's, it's one thing to be mocked. It's another thing to be mocked by somebody with a British accent. Yeah. It's just, it's very authoritative and they don't, not me. It's almost, it's like a reverse heckle. It's, 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 um, but I can't do too many of them because they complain. You get caught up in that. It's been 45 <laughs> it's minutes like, of you messing with wow, the Wow, I've got to go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, what did he just do? <laughs> These aren't my glasses. <laughs> yeah. 30 minutes in, you hit him with the glasses bit. <laughs> <laughs> think about it I'm thinking about it I'm like that could happen it's pretty funny yeah what else you could get like a <sighs> you could get Casey on stage just running around yeah I could do three <laughs> or four minutes in the middle I got a new chunk you're gonna love I, <laughs> that would be great <laughs> I'm working on these new bits you're gonna love he's for the students <laughs> I've never thought of using these things as an open mic opportunity, but now you mention it. There <laughs> you are need to start giving people five minutes. There's a couple hundred of them. I can. So this is what I'm going to do tonight. Just going to get your feedback on it. Yeah, that should be fun. <laughs> you can get some of the disappearing ink and actually squirt, accidentally squirt somebody and or yourself, but then it just disappears. I don't know. I don't think they use inks anymore. I don't think they use pens. Oh, there with a little laptop. Oh, yeah. Invisible ink, though you could put it in like a turkey turkey baster or something. 
Yeah, just really squirt somebody. <laughs> get them a lot. Get all over their clothes. The splash yeah. zone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can call it the splash <laughs> zone. You can, yeah. You have to say whatever color the seats are, like if they're blue seats. Like if you're sitting in a blue seat, you will get wet. And then everyone notices they're all blue. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> move back. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sending them an email right now. There's going to be a splash zone. <laughs> this is... <laughs> By the way, I'm bringing a petting zoo for the halftime show. You know, just... Oh my god, you would have to. <laughs> They'd be like, oh my god, at least it's not real ink, but I'm soaking wet right now. <laughs> oh no. Then you flip on the black light and it is real ink, but it was Invisibus. <laughs> it's Invisilern. No. <laughs> is that what actual invisible ink is? I wonder. I wonder if it actually is real ink that's invisible. I never even thought about it. I've never thought about it like that. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you just use a lemon. <laughs> what do you mean just use a lemon? You, you, you take a toothpick and you poke it in a lemon, in the lemon juice, and you write on that, and then you can, that's invisible, but you put a flame behind it and it will scorch it slightly and you can. Is see that how you write secret messages in MI6? It's how, it's how See, I, I, I don't mean, even know that. I didn't know you I, could write a how, limit with a lemon and put a flame behind it. I didn't learn that in my six. I learned that in a comic book. <laughs> but it was in the oh, be, wow. the Beano or the Dandy, you know, whatever. What was I it called? Beano and the Dandy? <laughs> Beano and the Dandy. I don't know what the oh, American right. equivalent of those comics are, I'm afraid. But, you know. Um, it's like Dilbert. Yeah, no, well, I'm sure it's like not. Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah. Back then, Dilbert wasn't a problem. Back then, Dilbert was still not a nice kid. I know, you know? right? They yeah, well, he he what went off the rails. He got real racist or yeah. something. I think he got kind of weird. Yeah, Dilbert got, got kind of canceled. Yeah, yeah, he had some stuff he probably regrets. Mm. Yeah, he's probably regretting it now. Kicking himself. He's probably writing a bunch of messages with lemons right now to people. <laughs> I bet he is <laughs> saying, "I'm sorry." He is. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Prideful to admit it. <laughs> How did you do that, Grant? There we go. Oh my gosh! You and you put a, you put a, you just uh, put a flame behind it, and it shows up. And he shows up. There he, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> the, somebody have a message? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always wondered what he sounded like. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Uh, yeah. Can we just talk about the fact that nobody in in however many like twenty thirty rows I've done, not one person has ever mentioned Dilbert as a comparison? Oh my! Yeah, you kind of look like Dilbert. It's just, it's just. Uh, yeah. There it is. So same, that's probably going to same come haircut. Up. Absolutely, that's you know, he's 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 my idol. That's my you know. You need to get a tie like that that goes up at the end. <laughs> I don't know if you could. You like put a wire in it. <laughs> yeah, wire could work. Could wire it up. Put some eleganza on it. Do you know what that is? No. I have no idea. They're like chorizo. I don't think he used it right. They're like yeah, I don't know. Mexican sausage. Yeah, eleganza. It's a. I think it's a drag word. It's some sort of. It's like uh, in a name. You put it on clothes. You use it to make clothes. It's a style. But, yeah, you could have I'm a. Thinking, thinking of organza. Oh, like, like organza, like a chiffon. No, Eleganza. <laughs> What's Eleganza? <laughs> I have a feeling we're about to go into a trunk show fashion moment. Totally. Okay, I made a mistake. It's not Eleganza. Fine. Yeah, fine. What is Eleganza, John? You know what? There are some things I don't know, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad of it. I've left some... If I knew what Eleganza <laughs> was... Oh, my gosh. That's Wait. what happens when you wear it, too. I get it. Makes sense. I think, oh, I think the guy on the right's about to get it. He's, he's ready. There's a bunch of necklaces on. It is a... Um, yeah. Eleganza. You wouldn't want to be wearing that <laughs> outfit on, a, on with this weather, though. It just... It's too... We're leaving the Silverstein building right after 9-11. Yeah. You they sure would, as shit wouldn't want to be wearing that. Draw too much attention, do you? Oh, yeah. You got to be a little more undercover than that. Oh, this was... Yeah, getting a flight to San Diego, going into Tijuana. Yeah. Did you eat some good food down there? Tacos were amazing. It was good. It was a good... It, I was only there for like an hour, but yeah, it was good. Ay, caramba. <laughs> 9-11, I caramba. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> scary stuff. Very scary. Yeah, super scary. John, have you ever uh, had to hurt anybody in all your travels and everything? Have I ever had to? No. 
Not mine. Like really hurt somebody? No. There's people that are trained to do that that travel with me. That's not my. Did anybody ever hurt you? Uh, emotionally? <laughs> yeah, my, my six-year-old. <laughs> she said she loved mommy more, and that just was crushing. Yeah, that's painful. Yeah. Well, start letting her watch the Pokemon thing. You think that, do you think she should yeah. buy, just buy her Pokemon love? YouTube. That's what parents used to do. Yeah. We have to go to that mall and get some Pokemon stuff. We're gonna be, that's that's going to be happening. Or eBay. That's a, there's a bunch of cards on eBay. You can yeah. start looking on eBay. <laughs> I just uh, do you ever get on eBay? I I I got off eBay. I used to buy so much crap on there. You had to was, delete the app. I, pretty much, yeah. And actually, I still keep it for car parts. It's a fantastic source of car parts. It's a classic eBay purchase. Did yeah. you hack into? So la about a year ago, I got a pair of cowboy boots on eBay, and they came, and they smelled like mildew. Mm -hmm. It really pissed me off. And then the people, like, they were going to give me a, they're going to give me money back or something, but I did wait a little while, and then they deleted their thing, so I couldn't talk to them anymore. Could you hack into, could you figure out who that is? Yes. Just from their eBay account? I could find them. Could you get me an address? I could get everything right down to their social security number, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and just mail the boots back. Yeah, would you That's be scary. willing to use your power for something good like that? If I use my, I use my, I use my powers for good. Anyway, is that would you consider that to be good? If we mail them back, yeah, that'd you be fun. Kind of like show up, fucking hand deliver a boot in their ass. Yeah, knock on the door. I didn't want these. Yeah, I, you, you could do. I, I can, I can get that kind of. Even if you knew, maybe in the back of your mind, I would go there. Even I'm if not, you had an inkling, I would show up at their house. I'm not. I'm not worried if you go there because you're <clears throat> a fairly rational kind of person. You're on the rational step. You can do irrational. Not things, when he's angry. Well, yeah, yeah, not when I'm be yelling at the guy. He's calling him a con artist. Not when his boots stink. Yep. When he gets stink boot, I've yeah. seen this man flip like a switch. That's the thing. Stink. Yeah, boot. I know, Casey. Really, and Casey, I want to apologize to you today about that. There's no reason. There's no reason. We had recently met. There was no reason for you to see that. So Lots I, of apologies today. I know. Well, I'm... <sighs> you have to say sorry to John for anything? Yeah, I intentionally... Remember we did those shows with Tony? Yes. I intentionally, after you left the second night, I was like, you can't have John open up anymore. He's doing material too similar to mine. I'm like, you can't. And then he... That's why you didn't do any more shows after that. Our material was. Similar. I'm sorry. Our material I'm kidding. Was our, our material was similar. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask if you are the, similar. They were barely in the same language. Where did we? <laughs> <laughs> where was that Saint uh, or Salt Lake City? Remember uh, we did some shows we, we together. With Tony? Oh no, you didn't do Vegas. We did Phoenix. We did. Oh yeah, Phoenix, Phoenix is where we got the cot. Where that we met the Rat Girl Coffee. <laughs> where they made the iced coffee with. Ice cubes of coffee. Oh, those are oh bad. yeah. That was really good coffee. I was so pissed off when that place was closed on the Saturday show. Oh my gosh. Have you ever heard of such a thing, Casey? Never in all my years. I'm Blood. clutching my pearls just thinking of it. This is Yeah, really... to get, it turns into more coffee when it melts, not water. It doesn't coffee. water the coffee down. They they just freeze the coffee, coffee into ice cubes. Yeah. Whoa. The, the owner of the place gave us a full thing on how they did it because you can't just pour coffee into an ice maker. Because hmm. the oil will gum up the the ice making so how process. Do you just in ice they trays? Had a in trays, machine. they had a whole thing for just multiple freezers, yeah, blast I love freezers that. for doing. Could it. you figure out where that guy lives so we can maybe ask him about how he does it? <laughs> yeah, but he's easy to find. He follows me on Instagram. <laughs> he's easy. So what? Could you? Would Get you use touch. that? Well, I just don't know his name. I know he lives in Phoenix. It's it's going to take twenty seconds. Just on your phone or your laptop? I could do that on my phone. Right now. Come on, let's do it. Prove it. Uh, I want to see this dude and his cold coffee. This, this, this will, this I'll will, set up a timer. You want to set up a timer? Oh, I've got to find, I, I got to find Rat Girl. Thank <laughs> you, Grant. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. Grant, pull up Garfield again. Can you remember the name of this? Go find the name of the store first. <laughs> yeah, what was the name? I can't <laughs> remember. We were at Stand Up Life, weren't we? And hold on, or you're kidding, right? What do you mean? What could you do? What, how, what could you do? <laughs> he's bypassing data frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's anything. Oh, he's probably past the neural port. <laughs> he is. I'm serious. By this point, he's past the neural port. Getting closer to the mainframe, but... 
Not <laughs> quite. There yeah. Yet. How do you know if you're getting close to the mainframe? It's close to the neural port, I think. <laughs> yeah, it goes data frame, neural port, hijinks. <laughs> yeah, which was always a weird <laughs> sounding, not too real. <laughs> it's like a purgatory type. Look at uh, Garfield going like L7. Whatever. You know, you like, <laughs> Big old. Get lost. Whatever. <laughs> Square. Scram essay. <laughs> so cool. Double loser. <laughs> That's badass. He's so faded all the time, too. He's got such a bad attitude. Yeah. And what does he eat, lasagna? And he hates Monday. Oh, he loves lasagna. Yeah, he can't get enough of that goddamn stuff. What's that frozen lasagna that's pretty good that you find Stouffer's? in the- Stouffer's? You, Stouffer's. Have you ever had Stouffer's? I've had Stouffer's. That's pretty good. Stacy stuff. Yeah, good portions. I thought you said Stacy Stouffer. <laughs> Stacy Stuffs. Yeah, I know Stacy Stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, my buddy Mark, whose mom sadly passed away, she would always she would heat up those things all the time. That was for dinner every Lasagna. night. Lasagna. Well, his surname is Snyder. Whose surname is Snyder? The guy that the guy that the guy that owns um, that uh, that coffee? coffee shop in Phoenix. He hacked it. <laughs> Didn't Got hack it. it. I just knew. Dang! I didn't have to you find still had stuff. ten seconds left. Damn! It's been hacked. Oh, I He's thought you were hacked. getting on his He's email or hacked. something. I can do all of that. I've got his surname. Trust Whatever. me, the rest of it is like three <laughs> seconds <hacked>. away. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Welcome to Hacksville, dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> Scary stuff. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have the wonderful parents that you had. I. I just had computers as friends and stupid and no boundaries. Computers were your parents. Absolutely. Same with my kid. She's got an iPad as a third parent. So, you know. Fair enough. Well, you need to start. Do you do things with her all the time? Just just Does just came, just just drove back from Salt Lake City with her like yesterday. Nice. Do you know how that. to hack yet? Is <laughs> it a family thing? She's she is. Uh, it's crazy and scary how quickly they learn stuff. Mm -hmm. So she's already worked out mommy and daddy's pin numbers for their cell phones, so she can use them. <laughs> and she didn't ask. She just watched. Like father, like daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, that's scary. Yeah, there we go. They're the frozen coffee cubes. It was. It was uh, kind of like gross. <laughs> 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 They're swimming in your coffee. You can't oh, see them. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, it looks like a bunch of dirty yeah, they don't water. Look right. Yeah, <laughs> they don't look right outside of coffee. Think water. Yeah, but they're good in that coffee. It was good. That was a, that was a great. I weekend. love that. That was a great weekend. Oh, yep. look at that. That's before anything's poured that in That is not fun because then you just have to wait for all of that to melt. Yeah, that takes a while to drink that one if you're waiting for it to melt. Just a bit. Didn't take long there. God, it was 100 and odd degrees in the beginning of May. So what are, are you excited about the new king? <laughs> what are your congratulations, thoughts? Congratulations, Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Happy King's Day. Happy King's Day. Kingsman Secret Service. You're, you're, very, you're very kind. Um... <laughs> I want to congratulate him on uh, on getting the promotion, or as we like to say, living. Um, Is he doing okay? His fingers. Remember, he looked at the fingers. Soft the fingers. <laughs> yes. Well, in the newest picture where he has the crown on, you can see him too. King sausage fingers. Yeah, right. that is a um, delicious. Yeah. Um, I, okay, Grant, come on, show her a little respect. We have British John in here. Right I have. Now. I have. I've. 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 I've met. To, uh, thank you. I've met uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. King Charles as, as he is now. You've met when, him? Yeah, a couple. Of, actually, the tie I was wearing on Keltonia the first time when I was all dressed up was a tie given to me by... Stop. You're kidding. By the king? I was thinking he was going to say Charles. gifted. No, it was. it was. It's my Prince of Wales tie. I, I, he has a foundation and they do a lot of education for... Um, uh, returning troops, and I used to I run a it. course on on training them for cybersecurity, and uh, and I was gifted the tie. Uh, it's got the um, three feathers of his emblem and stuff on it. It's my purple tie. Nice. I got, mar son and Holy I got married Spirit. in it. But no, he's done, he's done a lot of good stuff. My issue isn't Charlie. It's it's. Um, <clears throat> it's so do we get to call him it's Charlie? The wife. It's the I can't. Yeah, stand fuck Charlie. Camille. Camilla. My name's Camille. Camilla. Yeah. That's I think it's, it's <laughs> what 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 Charles has done for positivity of, of all cultures is fantastic. 
he is the first king to marry somebody who looks trans. <laughs> this guy. Uh, yeah. I mean, look at Camilla. You tell me which what her pronouns are, and it could be on any part of the spectrum. I mean, part horse is if you're being kind. <laughs> I would... I would <laughs> rather... Yeah. I mean, people people I would, don't like them, huh? I signed up to serve queen and country and king and country, and I would, I would do it again, no problem at all. But I would rather do coke off a drag queen's dick than actually recognize her as the queen. I'm just just, just saying. He's so ugly, you can't fathom it. He's fine. I don't care about. It. He's he's. But he's she's sick, not but your queen. But she's a total dog. She so is. She it. is. She is an inspiration to all side pieces. It's the best <laughs> meme I've seen everywhere. Let me take a look at this gargoyle. Yeah, hold what this on. Looks Let's like. see. Uh, is she nasty? Can we? If you go to. She you, looks like I don't know. Okay. But she's the one he was he was cheating on Diana with her the whole time. Oh. Uh-huh. She's been the side chick forever. And then yeah. she died. And then, I mean they her. separated. Her? That's her. Yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> oh my god. That's not the that's dog adorable. We're Grant. Yeah, what's that sweet little dog? That's a sweet one. I love guy. There's like a wiener dog or whatever. There what is she that? is. Oh, yeah, is. look at that hag. She's busted. <laughs> that is. Hagatha. Mm. She's totally busted, British John. You weren't kidding, man. No, no. That is. Uh, in, in. So is she the queen now? Yeah. yeah. Is that how that yeah, works? He, he gave her an upgrade. She was the queen consort. And he said, you know what? I'm getting a hat. You get a hat. Really? Yeah. So he made her the queen. How much, does you, how much do you make a year if you're the queen? I don't think you make any. I think they don't get paid much, but they have vast have amounts all the of jewels and well, they stuff. have yeah. It's a pretty benefits heavy package. Yeah, you know, Lots house staff. driver staff. You know, uh, do they have a place in India? Look at her. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, total snail. One of the grossest chicks I've ever laid eyes on. She ain't Diana. Yeah, I mean that's embarrassing. Mm-hmm. I went from Diana to this fucking monster lady. I mean, yeah, that's like. I I would be embarrassed too a little bit if I was Brit and that was my she, queen. She lists her hobbies as uh, as horse breeding, and you just have to wonder That's how because you look how, like a horse. How, you want to be how around active, them? <laughs> how active a participant are you in the process? Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, make, are you having sex? With she the horse? still likes yeah. she 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 milks <laughs> the ponies. He reminds her of you know before she transitioned. Um, <laughs> God, yeah. Oh, she got a tan there. With Vladimir Putin. What's she doing with him? <laughs> Doesn't that, that look is, like him from yeah. here? It kind of looks. It, no, no. Like she that. looks like Vladimir Putin in drag. I think we've just worked out how Russia is running its spy games. It's Putin. Well, she has a nice personal. tan. Look at her tan right there, or something. That's a good color. That's that's color match to a Hermes uh, handbag. That Ooh, that's beautiful Hermes. work. Mm-hmm. It matches the seat behind her. She blends where she just looks like a floating wig. That's <laughs> <laughs> so scary. She wanted to. She wanted to match the saddle he rides her on. Ooh, yeah. Who like the that. king? <laughs> One assumes. I wonder what that's like. I'm gonna not wonder at all. Oh. Don't, I don't want that thought in my head. That's poison. That is with his fingers. <laughs> oh my god! Not, big fingers. Not my queen. Yeah. No. My Diana. My Diana wouldn't do <laughs> my that. Diana. <laughs> Yeah, are oh, people God. still talking about Will, Diana? See, William? That, that's, look, look at the teeth on that. That is just... Oh uh, is he smiling at something? I want to call it, it's scaring children. Um, somebody showed him a plate of rocks he could eat. <laughs> <Is that laughs> Lunchtime already? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> King you Charles, the British, am, British ambassador of dentistry right there. That is... yeah. Why is that a general thing about... Oh, Brit- British people don't have straight teeth, and then in America, everybody gets orthodontist. And so, what is the difference? I wonder. And what's the difference there? You guys obsess over it, and I'm, I'm, even my, my my wife obsesses over the kids' teeth. Is she um, American? Yeah, yeah. And you're finding out an orthodontist is probably astronomical, especially in where you are. Uh, I have insurance. <laughs> oh, well, well, I'm fine. <laughs> it's um. I don't know. I've I've never had. I've I've lost teeth. I played a lot of rugby. I've had them knocked out. I've had things, but they're not that bad. They're just not yeah. that bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The book Simpsons always nailed it. It's, it's um, braces. Yeah, it's you can draw a line between British teeth and uh, and the redneck community here. You just like that's. Are they getting a bunch of fake butts over there, like they do in America? 
I'm sure it's happening now. Do you ever see any of that? I, 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 I haven't been back there in. We watched Love Is Blind years. UK. They like they get their work done there. Do they, they have big fat big butts. Big butts. Big and, boobs. Uh, big lips. Mm. Fake. Yeah. Fake. I mean, tits. the weird uh, thing. It's like a. It seems like it's some new thing in Britain. They might have just seen. I don't know if it has anything to do with the monsters, but they have a lot of the people are getting that the hair that goes down like Eddie Munster. It's like some a widow's peak. Yeah, widow's peak. A lot but of that. on purpose. <laughs> yeah, it was something on Love Is Blind. Um, they have Whoa. big. Room. That's a BBL right there. <laughs> that is that is substantial. Jeez. That is that's a farm girl. Yeah, it's a farm girl. <laughs> That's good. a homegrown butt. Yeah, <laughs> she should be good on the plow. Uh, give, give the ox a rest. Put your mom out there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, give the ox a rest. Put your mom out. There. <laughs> I was raised on. I was raised in the farming community, so that was our sense of humor. That's a, you know. Damn. Wait, what were the com- 30 years ago? What even was the computer like? How, what were you even doing on that thing? Acorn, so it, yeah, Acorn Electrons. So they started off with Acorn Electrons and then uh, BBC Acorn Electrons. Yeah. That's where the computer technology that was the, came that's from? What, that's what, that was the brand. And oh, then okay. we used Amstrad CPMs and then we moved up to PCs. Yeah, I didn't use a proper PC PC. Yeah. A M- Apple Mac. Ooh, that was money. We dreamed of an Apple Mac. Mm. Wow. Did you do hacking stuff on something like that? Probably could, but I don't I haven't. That was before the internet. Do you need the internet to hack stuff? No, you just put something called an IP stack on it in the networking. You can yeah. That'd be the perfect wife, just a computer with a butt. Yeah. <laughs> This is a computer with a <laughs> yeah. big old stinky butt. Yeah. Is the computer back there kind of? Oh my yeah. God. Oh Casey, my God. Casey clearly likes his girls autistic. That's what I'm learning <laughs> right now. That it's, That's what I like in a woman. He wants full Asperger's. This is absolutely. I want the ass and the Asperger's. Whoa. Whoa, look at oh, that. How did wow. you do that? Whoa. That is wife inside the computer, butt have, outside. He's an artist. He's an artist. <laughs> yeah, it's just a butt sticking just outside a butt of the computer. Sticking out. <laughs> Out oh. of the monitor. We're going to be checking your browser history after this. In fact, I'm going to check it now. <laughs> Grant? You guys have seen most of the stuff I'm browsing. I'm putting it right on screen. <laughs> Look, there's a guy watching from the front, too. He's kind of looking at it like... <laughs> I know. What? Is that a big old butt on there? <laughs> Is that a fat old stinker on that computer? <laughs> Wait, who's that guy? Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Charles. Yeah. Oh, Charles. <laughs> He's a happy boy. So horny. Yeah. Well, this is... <laughs> look He's, at him. Uh... Well, He's the he... king. Yeah, he's the king now. He is. Does he get a pay raise or, again, it's all... I don't know. It's, 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 it's scary. She needs pet insurance. Probably. Yeah. For absolutely. her horses. No, for her, seriously. I would, stepping on the dogs I, I, with their I, horse I, feet. I'd take her to a vet before I went to the ER. Um, Who? The lady? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You're a hu- oh. Oh, you're that's a that's human that's being. Oh. Oh, I took you to the wrong place. <laughs> huh. That's <laughs> confusing because of the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if ever a face looked like it had foot and mouth, it would be that. It is. Um, Foot and mouth disease. Do people still get that over in Britain? No, that was that was that's Jesus Christ. That's Hoof and mouth. That's thirty years ago as well. Yeah. Foot and mouth. My ex girlfriend got hand, foot, and mouth disease. She went to a public pool. That's and how it, it happened. Plagued her for weeks. That's scary. She struggled with it. What was it? Just She's like so- in the water of the pool, and it just got all on her. Oh yeah, got. <laughs> Does this answer your question? <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> uh, got in her veins somehow in the pool and made her sick. Yikes. Yeah, she gets spots everywhere. You couldn't touch her skin. It was bad. Hurt her. Damn. We were good friends. Did you get your kids vaccinated? Against foot and mouth? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not come up, no. It's not It's not a major issue. Rubella? Yeah, she's got all the... Yeah, my, my kids all vaccinate against everything. I want to make sure she got all the best versions of autism, so we fucking... We doubled down on everything. Nice. 
she'd feel it was, we live in California, so she'd feel left out if she wasn't autistic, you know. All, John. All, all the kids, especially autistics, you know, the artistic, autistic, artistic. San Jose, that's where I got, I ended up getting sick up there. A cold. Yeah. He got oh, a cold. when you were there with, oh, yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting real sick. I've been getting a bunch of colds and it's bad. I think the thing on my neck really is cancer and I'm dying. So <laughs> I finally got health insurance, though. So. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I finally got health insurance. We were joking about this a while ago, and I was like, I'm just wondering if you're still joking about it, but. What was I joking about? Oh, you didn't want to get it because then the government would know what you were doing and stuff like that. And I couldn't, I honestly couldn't decide whether it was a bit or real life. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, I got it. it. Took me five hours talking to some piece of shit on the phone. I was having to lie about everything. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've never had any health issues. There's nothing pre-existing. Oh, that I've had that third leg for a while now. It's yeah, absolutely. What was that? A reference to your thing? No, I actually thang. meant a third leg. I try not to. Oh, I try whoa. not to do dick jokes. I meant an actual third leg. I live near a nuclear power station, so I think college normal. kids love dick jokes. Yeah, maybe you could put some of those in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, mm, I, tempted as I am. Um, You'd be like, yeah, I was watching what all y'all were doing. You can make up somebody's name and say, I saw you looking at those dicks on the screen. I usually. Uh, <laughs> Tyler. I saw Tyler looking at all the penises. You know, there's a Tyler in the audience. There's always one Tyler. I, yeah, have, to, have, to I have to keep it. Okay. That image will be forever burned into my Mind. Put that picture up in your. Sphere. That is, yeah. Just have him up at one. Point. You know what? Look I familiar, am Tyler. I am. Yeah. <laughs> what would they do if you literally did that? Are there like people watching who work there, just watching you too? Security. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. What would they think? Just he's gone nuts, or it would be kind of funny, or what? What would even happen? Do you think? There's a professionally. There is a line between engaging and entertaining. And I have to stay on the engaging side of it. I have to. It's it's. So I, I have no notes. I, I don't have a presentation. I have a I have a, a post it note with five bullet points just to keep me on track. And um, I know what I know where the limits are, but I know them because I've crossed them and had my ass handed to me. So yeah, uh, I can't afford to make too many mistakes on that. It, when you when you bomb doing this, there are consequences. You don't just how can you tell you're bombing? Like people are literally falling asleep or something, or how can you tell that you're bombing if it's something that people aren't reacting it's to? Bombing the other way is you won't. I won't bomb with the the audience. I'll bomb with the leadership at the back of the room. They will just not be happy. And you know these are young minds you're influencing, and you can't say things like that. that and you have your daughter to feed, so you can't. Yeah, you can't be up, messing. I actually up. have to be serious. Yeah. ish but engaging so I, I i tell them i tell them stories which i, I can't tell here i'm afraid but i, I tell them uh, what about hacking stuff yeah and i tell them but you know it, uh, mission examples and things like that so it's exciting mission missions i was in afghanistan 10 days before i got married 10 days before 9 11. <laughs> We got, married. We got married on 9 11. No, that's we got romantic. Unbelievable. No. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is a crazy world out there, and I want to see. You know, if I got married on 9 11, I wouldn't have needed that green card appointment. That option, oh. I wasn't. Uh, oh. I was distinctly unattractive back then. That wasn't. That wasn't happening. Um, you got the green card. Yeah, I did the. I did the. I did it the traditional way. I married one. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? Do y'all get along? Yeah, yeah, met her on a plane from Phoenix, ironically. Could have been your moment. Um, Did you tell her you were a hacker, like the first conversation? <laughs> no, you know what the really stupid thing that was? that is kind of cool sounding. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that like immediately comes up if you're trying no, to court just, a lady. No, I, well, I, was in, I was on a flight from San Jose, so you try. they assume you're a geek anyway. You don't want to confirm it. Or, yeah. Funnily enough, if you tell a, an attractive young lady that you're a professional hacker... Unless you can run really fast to catch them, they're already gone. So you kind of hold back on that one. I just, uh, I just said I work in security marketing, which is kind of my generic um, security marketing. That's my business card says something like that. Yeah, senior director of product marketing. It's nice and boring. Security marketing. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Yep. Pays the bills and pays for my comedy habits. So no. nice. No, I met her on a flight, and uh, we Phoenix. only we only I'm started. Kidding. I don't know what. Uh... We only started talking because I thought she said she was going. I'm deaf in my right ear, and I thought she was. Uh, I thought she said she was going to a swimming convent. I said, "Oh, you go. What you're going to tread water for Jesus?" It was just the most ridiculous thing to say. And what did she say? Yeah, what did she? Say? Well, first of all, she went and put her earbuds in, which weren't connected to anything. <laughs> Wait, what did she do? She went to do that. She went. So I, I said, "You know, you're coming or going." The usual airplane conversation with a stranger, and she said, "What she said is, I'm going to a swimming conference, but." I didn't hear it properly. I heard I'm going to a swing convent and just my smart ass just went, oh, you're going to tread water for Jesus. <laughs> and um, Did you think it was funny? No, no. Oh. She's never found any of my jokes funny. That is not, um, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. She was like, it's actually really serious. You've been, to, you've been to more of my shows than my wife has. That's the truth <laughs> of the matter. That is. That's funny. <laughs> But it worked out. It, it worked out. I got a beautiful wife, beautiful, intelligent wife, and, and a green card. Would you ask for her phone number at the end of the flight? Yeah, she gave me a business card. Ooh, uh, that's how people used to have to do it, yeah. business card. Yeah, she just gave me a business card, and I, I emailed her, and uh, we had drinks in... Uh, I told her I was going to be in the Bay Area in a couple of weeks. It'd be lovely to get drinks. And then she said, that'd be great. And she gave me a date, and I wasn't in the Bay. I was in Washington, D.C., so I, I took her... Red eye back, just to, just have, to have a date. Just to just to have a date with her. Yeah, I had no idea how she big the Bay Area you. was. Hmm? She had to marry you. That's sweet. Yeah. Did she know you took the flight? Did no, I didn't tell, her? Tell her, didn't tell her for a while. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> just thought you were there. You don't want to scream desperation in those. <laughs> that that was a... damn. The greatest thing you ever hacked was love. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Wow! No meeting on the airplane. That's that's going on. That's that. That may be the name of a special right there. That's perfect. Hi, <laughs> Grace's hack is love. Happy love day. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Did y'all kiss sweet. that night? There was a kiss, but nothing more. She was. Uh, she 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 played hard to get. Yeah, you know, which is good. When, when you, wife material very different. To, you know, you got to, it's an investment strategy. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's an investment strategy, Casey. Yes. Yeah. Long term love. That's you know. I hope to find it. <laughs> those two guys at those <laughs> those two guys at casino know exactly it involves Benadryl. Oh yeah. Um, that's love. Oh, there it or is. Something. Oh, that's not that's real love. That's not stock photography. That's real love. That's, I think so. Mm -hmm. It looks it. Close. Um, or, or a dental procedure. It's one or the other. Two rings, wedding ring, and two then rings, a regular one. Two rings, one heart. One. Two rings, one heart. One house. Two parts. <laughs> one house. <laughs> two bedrooms. Mm. <laughs> one bathroom. <laughs> John, well, you were so sweet to be on the show today. We all got you this Heath bar because... English. Toffee. English toffee. <laughs> Oh, that is so kind of you. Have you ever had one? And Heath Ledger. I've not. I haven't. Oh, no. they're so good. Crunchy. Heath Ledger, too, one of our favorite actors uh, around here. R.A.P. Yeah. Oh, Olsen twins. Hate them. We used to, we used to hack our teacher's computer and change his background to Heath bar plus sign allege plus ER all the time. And we'd put, make it on paint, so it'd say Heath Ledger. Oh, Paint. Now that uh, was. But we had changed the background of his computer all the time. He hated it. Mr. Borg. Hacking. What's <laughs> his first name? Cy. Mr. Cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be hacking Mr. Cyborg. Darren. If that was you. It was Darren. <laughs> Darren Cyborg. <laughs> Probably the last person I'd hack, honestly. <laughs> Mr. Cyborg. Yeah. This, this part of me would love to go back to school to now professionally name the teachers. The, yeah. the name? dumb names. Well, we they, horse they, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd put some. I put some real roast battle writing into it these days. I'd put yeah. some. You know, we'd workshop it a couple of times. We wouldn't just come up with oh, big nose. You know, honky mm -hmm. was was one of them because he had a big nose. Like we could we could have done so much more with that. Truly. Wait. So John is AI. Is that going to take over 
what you do eventually, or just the computer's going to take over? What's your point of view? How long till the computers take it over? Do you think they're not going to take over as long as we can control the power supply system? <laughs> Well, what if we can't? Well, uh, that's what do you the, mean the power supply system? A, AI's already doing stuff in security. It's it already goes. doing things. Um, it's <laughs> providing a level of analysis automatically. Computers work 24 hours, whereas we traditionally only do eight, and we have a staffing crisis. And then they're also good for automation. AI is actually artificial learning. It's, and, and then if you learn something, they can act against it. So... Mm -hmm. It means that one person can actually do the job of three people. It's it, At the moment, it's a helper. The question is, when does the helper start telling us what to do? As yeah, is it going to turn off the, is it going to turn off the power grids? Is it going to launch nuclear missiles? That's why I got thrown out of school, because we'd been to uh, Florida, we'd been to Florida on vacation that year, and the film PCB. on the way. PCB. That was <laughs> I don't know if PCB was a thing back then, but... They, Daytona. Yeah, maybe Daytona. You could, Daytona oh, we, no, we went to Were you Disney. driving your car on the beach? No, I was a kid. <laughs> We're in Disney, and then we, we flew back, and this is when the plane used to have the in-flight movie used to come down on a big-ass screen. I and remember you, seeing one of those. You had the mm -hmm. earphones that were like stethoscopes that yeah. hurt your ears, because why would you want to be comfortable? And um, the film on the plane was War Games. So when my dad got the phone call that I was being expelled, he was like, oh my God, what the fuck has he done now? What government agency has he gone after and all this kind of stuff? Because literally like three weeks earlier, we'd watched this film and my dad <laughs> was so worried. Oh, he spends a lot of time on his computer. Oh my God, I don't know what he's doing. It was like, yeah, it was a real thing. It was amusing. So be scared of AI? No, use it. <laughs> it's a tool. Use it before you lose it. Yeah. I, 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 all my professors. It I, might take it away from you one day. Yeah. The AI might take it away. Wait. <laughs> they might, AI might take itself away at one day. Might just leave. <laughs> what if, yeah, I just, yeah, you can probably apply. ask it to leave and it would do it. What you could seriously could do is Where would could, it go though? Mm, Hyperspace? Th what was the one level again? Tier, jinx. tier three yeah, hijinks. Yeah, it could be the high <laughs> tier, tier three. three. <laughs> it's hijinks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's terminal. <laughs> yeah, it'll just be so, in the server yeah. system. It'll be all up in there. Yeah, we could actually create an here. AI William Montgomery. We could take one of those YouTube clips that somebody's created of all your performances. That's his nightmare. Don't say that. Well, that's that just going to happen. And then have it create new material automatically we give it a oh that's what i've been using for the past year. <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding i did yeah when duncan was he did one time uh uh joke about ghost and the voice of jerry seinfeld it was the strangest thing it wasn't necessarily funny but it sounded like jerry seinfeld mm -hmm. when i was reading it it was really <laughs> weird mm -hmm. yeah it was weird all right john well thanks so much for Come in here. Oh, this has been fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. And my... he was doing a fake British accent the whole podcast. That's the irony. I don't even... What's a good American accent you have? I don't. My my, my American accent You have to have something. Just to try to say a simple sentence, an uh, American accent. American accent. Say check, please. Yeah, just check. Let's start with check, yeah. please. Check. Check, please. That was good. That was good. That's right. They're always yeah. better at American accents. Hey, than where's Garfield? <laughs> no, you. Li <laughs> Can you say that? Try that one. That's a little longer. Like, but <laughs> where's where's? Hey, where's where, Garfield? Where's Garfield? No, that sounds like <laughs> like Garfield. <laughs> Garfield. 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 Not even how you talk. <laughs> we could if we wanted to. <laughs> yeah, Garfield. I think that's Garfield. A, I think this is the test for you having a stroke at this point. Garfield. <laughs> you could say it. Try to say it like that. I bet you can. Garfield. 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 Yeah. That's Sounds like good. Gerard Butler. So scary. <laughs> Garfield. Yeah, Gar John Wayne. Like <laughs> John Wayne Garfield. That's, Gar he's pretty good. <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> John, <laughs> John Wayne Garfield. <laughs> All right, John. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. 
Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. Never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at iBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.